Hello, I'm Jonathan Clogston Wilmot, and I'm going to be telling you about a syndrome in Chinese medicine called stomach cold and deficient. Some people have it for years without realizing, but it's something which many people get, and I get it myself from time to time. And I'll tell you something, it's my fault, and it will be your fault if you get it too, nearly always. As a matter of fact, it often occurs in health conscious people people who eat a lot of raw, uh, raw food or cold food, and they don't realize why they have these symptoms. And the symptoms are usually a slightly uncomfortable feeling in the upper abdomen, which is where the stomach is, um, but also sometimes a dull ache there, maybe nausea, loss of appetite. Could be also that they are um, feeling slightly, um, almost vomiting sometimes, um, and they're not thirsty. Very often, so no thirst and no appetite or reduced. They prefer warm food. They like warm food. They like warm things. And they're worse for cold or frozen food or foods which have a cold effect on them. We have a page on cold foods on our site, so you could read that. Symptoms, well, for example, cold legs, cold arms, cold feet, cold hands. Fatigue, feeling run down. Pallor, white face, not having enough boomph in your body. Your pulse slows down and your tongue may be pale. So those are some of the main symptoms. Uh, you may also feel, when you have this, like stooping. You don't stand up straight, you tend to stoop forwards to protect your stomach. Or you find people fold their hands and pull it down over their stomach area to protect it, to keep it warm. Um, they may also prefer to sit than to stand. Sitting is easier than standing. Standing for too long is bad news. They want to lie down or to sit and rest. And very often have wind. That's what I mean by farting. The wind goes downwards rather than coming upwards. Not usually very smelly, but can be embarrassing and can be quite frequent. So those are some of the symptoms. Now, why do you get this? Well, you get it because you're eating almost certainly the wrong foods for you. That means you're eating too much cold food. Cold foods which have an effect of cooling your body and which your stomach hasn't got the energy to keep warm and to warm up. And you can do things about this. So poor diet is the first thing. You can also get this from cold weather, from standing in drafts for too long, exposure to cold weather. Uh, we have a page on the effects of cold as well. So poor diet and poor choice of weather. And probably you should wear more, by the way. So what to do about this? Well, warm yourself up. Eat warm foods. Don't get cold. Wear more. Don't get yourself stuck in a cold draft when you're not feeling energetic and warm. Um, take a warm bath. Have a warm shower. Anything which can warm you up Put a warm bean bag on your stomach, but mainly eat warm foods. Warming foods, we've got a page on what are called hot foods, which have the effect of warming people up, even if they're eaten slightly cold. So warm yourself up with a hot shower, a hot bean bag and hot food. The next thing is to chew well. Chewing is really important because you're helping your stomach in various ways. First of all, in your mouth, you're warming the food up. Secondly, you're breaking it up into small parts, and that means the acids in your stomach get at it much more easily than if you just whole, swallow whole gobbets of food, all right? So chew things up, really important. In fact, the process of chewing uses up these muscles around here, and those muscles which do move the jaw, the stomach channel, the stomach acupuncture channel, passes through them. So you're exercising the stomach channel right from the moment you start chewing, and that gets it ready for what's coming down the hatch. So chewing makes a huge difference. What about herbs? Well, various herbs do this. The most famous one of the lot is ginger, ginger root. Not the powder, the ginger root, which you slice up into small pieces and put in a, a mug and then pour on boiling water. And leave it to steep for a little while and then sip it. And you can do that either along with meals or on its own from time to time. And of course, these days, enterprising manufacturers have produced all sorts of tea bags which contain ginger with apple or ginger with lemon or ginger with this, that and the other and so you don't need to buy the, the, the ginger itself. There's a classic remedy for this kind of situation on our website, by the way. Men, listen, sorry to have to tell you this, but when you have stomach cold and deficient symptoms, you are better avoiding sex because sex takes a lot of energy and it takes yang energy out of you. And with a cold and deficient syndrome, you're feeling cold and deficient and therefore not a good idea. Some people would say that when you're young, energetic and all the rest of it, that's great. Okay, fair enough. But nevertheless, certainly as you grow older, I advise you've got this symptom. Get the syndrome made better by doing the right things and then you can enjoy sex again. 
Okay, so that's a bit about stomach cold and deficient. Hope it's helped you. We all have it. We all get it from time to time. Uh, and there's some things you can do to really help yourself. Okay, thanks for listening. Mm -hmm.